Lakers coming through the tunnel with swagger. This looks like a team that's all set to go to work here at home. The Staples Center downtown Los Angeles and the freeways of L.A. All painting the picture just where we are tonight. Welcome, sports fans. Thanks for joining us. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. And our broadcast team tonight, Greg Anthony here to my left and Steve Smith to my right. And the Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, along the sideline. D.A., take it away. Hey, Kevin. John Morant put the league on notice his rookie season. A spectacular play and a little jawing while he's at it. The Grizzlies rookie said, I just play with the same chip every game, adding it's nothing personal. I'm just having fun, he said. My teammates and the coaches allow me to go out there, play freely, and do what I do. Kevin? Thank you, David. And a chance now to take a look at some numbers for him. And you can see the surge in his level of confidence lately. Just by looking at that true shooting percentage, it's been moving straight up in the past five games. I think he's feeling it. And the starting group for the Grizzlies. Morant and Brooks manning the backcourt. Jackson and Valanciunas, they're in the middle. And it's Winslow in at the three spot. And for Los Angeles, Aldwell Pope and LeBron fill out the wings. Wood out there with Hartenstein. And it's Maxi in at the point. And it's going to be the Grizzlies off the tip. Now here's Brooks. He kicks it to Morant. There's Winslow. No good from outside. The Lakers on offense. The pass to Caldwell Pope. Here's Hartenstein. Brooks covering. Six on the shot clock. Caldwell Pope against Jackson. And good that time. And we're seeing a little more of this from KCP. Working that in-between area. Trying to improve his efficiency. Now here's Brooks. He's coming off a 10-point game against Orlando. And the shot goes down. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. Down low. Jackson against Wood. Has to call Will Pope. And the rejection by Jackson. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And early in the game, a defensive play like that goes a long way establishing the attitude you want. First quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. Memphis with the ball. Morant with it. He picked up 30 points in their last win against Orlando. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. You look back at that 2019 draft, Zion goes one, Morant goes two. And with everything we know about them now, could you imagine having to make that choice today? That is a tough choice, G.A. Or even crazier, could you imagine having both of them on your team? The reason why I say that, as amateurs, they played together in South Carolina. Little did they know at the time, they would be the future of this league. You know, in most NBA drafts, John Morant would have gone number one overall. But not in a draft with Zion, at least not at the time. And this team looking to get him the ball and get him in rhythm quickly. Because he's someone that you lean on at the offensive end. Establish him early. Here's Max. Grizzlies making the shot. And it's good for two. LeBron's got his second bucket of the night. That's what the offense is designed to do. Get LeBron high percentage looks. Morant against LeBron. 
The putback, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. Here's Max. He picked up 15 points in their last one against Phoenix. And no one on defense could stay in front of him. He continually got pummeled and kept getting back to the stripe. Now here's Brooks after LeBron James's miss. Jackson, Wood with the block. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It goes on Justice Winslow. Steve, one thing I always think of when I watch LeBron, how much fun it must be to be a teammate of his. You know, Kevin, I wish I could have played with a Take guy a like LeBron James. You get so many open looks and easy finishes with him on the court. One of the easiest superstars to play with, bar none. The first free throw is good. You know, even though LeBron doesn't go 100% every minute of every game in the season, G.A., he still knows when to turn it on. And for someone at his age, that is something you have to know how to do. You can see when LeBron kicks it into that next gear. Can't keep it on all the time, but he's still able to take over when he needs to. And both free throws good for LeBron. You know, maybe the most storied high school player ever. It's amazing to think that LeBron's exceeded expectations here at the pro level. Now here's Morant. He's had his share of big nights at the offensive end, that's for sure. His scoring average is at 18 points a game. Easy chance for mid-range. Wouldn't be surprised to see them run that play again. And what a play. Just snatched out of the air. Credit the block. There's Winslow, and he wills that one in. Sinking right through off the back iron. Shows incredible vision for a younger player. John ja Morant, a skilled distributor. And so Brooks will bring it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. It's a three-point game. And this is the first season matchup for them against the Lakers. And with this matchup being an East versus West affair, it will be the first of only two meetings between the teams. Very difficult game to predict. They are not familiar with each other. I expect to see a lot of in-game adjustments tonight on both sides. A nice shot by Winslow. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Now here's Caldwell Pope. He picked up 12 points in their last win against Phoenix. Now Morant. Brooks outside. Fader on the way. Jackson misses. You're not pretty. You just got to shake off a miss like that. James left side. And they double up James. Wood kicks to James. Pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. LeBron's got eight points. In this period, they're feeding him, and he's feeling it. Brooks outside. They get it back. And stay with the play, Valanciunas. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. The drive by LeBron. And the jump by LeBron. The quick first step of James, along with his power, that's the difference on the drive. Pass to Brooks. Kicks to Winslow. And Valanciunas now atop the key. Five on the clock. It's hauled in by Wood. A lot of character for him to miss that shot. Maybe just a little too casual there. Yep, that one goes. Caldwell Pope's got his second basket of the night. Yeah, and in knifing into the middle, Caldwell Pope, not just a perimeter threat. Young fella can elevate. Memphis moving that ball around. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That's on LeBron James. It's his first trip to the line. the first. For a player his size, Valanciunas has always been a good free throw shooter. 
we won't see a heck of Val anytime soon. So both teams making some changes here. Alan Junis hits them both. And for the Grizzlies, they come in off a good outing against the Magic. Rondo with the ball. Guarded now by Clark. Trying to get open is Kuzma. The shot by Rondo is no good. And the Grizzlies leading by three. Here's Green. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And let's quickly check out the best young defenders, how they've been playing in the low post lately. Your rookie block leaders for the past month, Brandon Clark, fourth. He's been a factor on the inside. An impressive stretch for him defensively. First one falls for him. And the Lakers making a change here. Woods checked in. And Memphis also making a switch. Hernan Gomez has checked in for Valanciunas. And both free throws good for Green. Money from the stripe. He does a great job night in and night out. Outside Rondo. A floater. Here's Wood. Outside Green. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Hernan Gomez. And a moment here to check out some numbers for Clark. This past month, he's really set himself apart. He's putting up about 12 points a game, seven rebounds, and two assists. Yeah, he's been making the right decisions and, and letting the game come to him. Solid play all around. He's not trying to take over necessarily. He's just taking what the defense allows and contributing to the calls. Just two to shoot. And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. And it's Jones with the ball for Memphis. Three-point lead. They come into this one having outplayed the Magic last game. And, and what an outstanding win it was. I mean, to get it the way they did in overtime made it that much sweeter. They show real guts, nabbing that victory in overtime. No doubt they are a better team because of that one moving forward. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Rondo against Jones. From deep, Green. Horton Tucker with the rebound. Los Angeles has gone 0-2 from deep here. Here's Kuzma. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It goes on Brandon Clark. When Kuzma first entered the league, the Lakers were a rebuilding team. Now, Greg, he's one of the more experienced pieces on this team. And, and Kuzma's made the most of it, switching to a learning role tries to absorb as much as he can from the vets and he does everything he can to pick their brain and improve on those little things in terms of championship caliber basketball and it's tied up with that one and the former Utah U Kyle Kuzma can play either forward spot as a good blend a smitty of size and speed Yes, Kevin, but right now I prefer him at the four. The reason why, he can stretch the floor, but he can tack a lot of those big forwards. And his shooting, it will be consistent as the years go on. Kyle Kuzma is trying to be more of a team player. Whether he's coming off the bench or starting, he's starting to accept his role. Jones, the pass to Green, fires for three, and that comes off the assist by Jones. Green's got five now. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Kuzma outside. Pass to Green. Three-pointer. It's rebounded by Memphis. Green kicks to Jones. It's stolen by Rondo. Green in the post. He's against Clark. Green dishes to Rondo. That one, no good. And Memphis the other way now. I don't know how many misses that is in a row, but I know it's ugly. Here's the pass to Clark. Green against Rondo. Green, no luck. Not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let's see if he can eventually get back on track. 
There's Winslow. Good on the bucket. Eight points for him. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. Timeout called for the Lakers. All right, Stevenson. Look who's coming on the court. Come on and get loud for your Laker girls. switch here. Shang's checked in. Let's check out the Eastern Conference standings now that we're in the new year. You look at Memphis. In the early season, they find themselves down in ninth place. And for the Grizzlies, they haven't packed any big surprises into the early part of this season. They're right in the middle of the NBA's pecking order. I don't think they'll stay there. I think they've got a great chance to climb up in the standings as we get deeper into the season and the players get more settled into their respective roles. Winslow shot is off. Get that weak stuff out of here. That's embarrassing. Kuzma passes to Rondo. Here's Wood. He dishes it to Green. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. Nice look for Danny Green there, taking charge. You love the leadership he's brought everywhere he's gone. Outside, Green. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Green's got seven points in the game. How about that move? Is this guy special or what? Just love watching him operate inside. Green in the post. Guarded by Green. Here's Rondo from outside off the mark. The struggles just continue this quarter. They can ill afford to have this many empty possessions. A for effort, but when there's that much resistance at the rim, better find another option. Another miss is sixth of the night after six shot attempts. One second separating the shot clock and game clock. Jones against Kuzma. Jones drives in, and he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. And that takes skill and the ability to make adjustments as you're going up. That one falls for Jones. Seven seconds left to play in the first quarter. Here's Rondo. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. And so the first quarter is in the books. Grizzlies lead by seven. And the second quarter will get underway just after this short break. already a solid score but Kyle Kuzma spoke to us before the game about evolving his game the biggest area of growth would definitely be on the defensive end and my playmaking ability um, this year I'm just trying to uh, be a consistent defender um, find my teammates um, because I have so much attention offensively so um, you know, I think those are two areas now having played with superstars, Kuzma is learning what it takes to win. He's getting only so many shots per game, so I, I applaud him for finding other ways to contribute to his team with an eye toward the greater goal. 
And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And uh, for Memphis, guys, what jumps out to you was that you can see they were well prepared defensively coming into this one. Yes, what they do, they take away the things that teams like to do offensively. Also keeping them out of sync. So on the floor to begin things for Memphis here in the second quarter, Gorgie Dang is out there with Porter. Then it's Jones. Then it's Green. And it's Winslow in at the three. And the foul called on Danny Green. That's his first foul. Hartenstein, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Morant, he's checked in for the Grizzlies. And the Grizzlies leading by five. Outside, Jones. Morant kicks to Jones. Loads it up there for Morant. Green deciding where to go with it. Here's Horton Tucker. Green left side. Ice D from Porter. The Grizzlies shooting at a decent 44% clip here. Right side Jones. He kicks to Morant. Off target with his three. For Los Angeles, they've gone one of three to start out the second quarter. Pass to Ronda. Outside, Green. Lock at six. He's off on that one. Great D that time from Green. Jones, no one around him. Second shot opportunity, and that one's good. Morant. Morant's got the lead up to seven now for the Grizzlies. An awesome rebounder at that position. The energy level Morant puts forth on the glass is tremendous. Now, here's Green. Here's Horton Tucker. Fires from 14. And the shot no good. A bit short. The struggle is real. He's been way off with his shot all evening long. And now here's Rondo. The fast break opportunity. Porter pulls it in. Memphis leading by seven. It's Morant with the drop. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Jones has got three assists now in this one. Passes to Horton Tucker. Makes it off the glass. And they've repeatedly broke inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Outside, Porter. Oh, Porter in position. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. And the Lakers call time here. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. deciding to change it up and it's never too early to start looking at our contenders for this year's dunk contest there's no doubt it'll be a terrific showdown of some of the game's best athletes and it seems like each year the bar keeps getting set higher i mean more props crazier concepts to the competition the level of dunks i think this is going to be a good one and you look at morant and i know he'd like to make a move up in the consideration he's got all the athleticism you hope for from a dunk contest participant he sure does lots of competition though in the running this year to get that big invite 
And so that's the breakdown as it currently stands. We'll be keeping you all updated with the latest info and, of course, our final list of contestants as we get closer. Yeah, and if they don't invite me to be a judge, I, I, I'm still going. Lakers trail by six. The shot's good from LeBron. James has got 12 in the game. The raw power of James excels at taking on physical defense and finishing. Greg Tyrese Maxey is a guy some people have compared to Lou Williams, a constant threat to score. I mean, he's got a terrific mid-range and floor the game, very quick into the lane, and a creative finisher. And on top of all that, he is clutch. This is his second trip to the line in this one. And on the season, you know, only shooting around 73%, so not necessarily where he'd like to be. And the first one at the line is good. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Lakers trail by six. Pass to Kuzma. Now, here's Maxi. Guarded by Morant. LeBron, that's a two-pointer. Rebounded by Valanciunas. Valanciunas has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. With some arc. And Morant will lay it in. Nine points in the game so far. How about the touch on the floater? John Morant making it look too easy. And that one, good. That's how you set the table, and everybody gets to eat. And so Morant will bring it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. And Valanciunas gets to Jackson. Hands it from downtown. Jackson's got the lead up to nine now for Memphis. Look at the big man Valanciunas showing off the playmaking skills. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Kevin, thanks. Last season, there were more rumors that the Grizzlies' ownership were exploring relocation. Now the lease at FedEx Forum runs through 2027, with substantial penalties for breaking it early. But playing in a small market, with the financial challenges the league has seen of late, that wouldn't necessarily preclude a move someday down the road. Guys, hopefully they can stay put. Thanks, D.A. Caldwell Pope for three. And another three for the Lakers. He has gotten into a great rhythm here in, in this quarter, playing with just bundles of confidence. And the pass to Brooks. Good D by James. Lakers trail by four. Caldwell Pope with it. He's picked up by Morant. From 15 feet away, it doesn't go for him. Now the Grizzlies take it the other way. That game marks the first half of a quick two-game homestand. Outside, Jones. From deep. They get it again. Gotta love the big man, Valanciunas, fighting for that extra chance. And he was rewarded for his effort. The Lakers have gone 7-14 in the second quarter, shooting to the tune of 50%. Timeout called the Lakers. And just trying to get some traction offensively. Boy, it hasn't been pretty. You know, this is a good time to maybe switch up your strategy a little bit. You can't keep doing what you're doing and expect a different result. Kuzma. Brandon Clark, he's checked in for Memphis. Winslow comes in for Jones. Pass to Wood. And finished off by Wood. 
that those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. This is a close-knit group. They feed off one another's energy. Now here's Morant. He's got nine. Memphis needs to get off a shot here. Caldwell Pope with a wide open look, and it's good off the back rim and in. Now just a two point Grizzly lead. Passes it to Morant. And here is Clark. No points in the game yet for him, and they're on the break. Here's Caldwell Pope, and he finishes it off with a one handed jam. And Caldwell Pope, explosive off the floor. He can catch you unawares with his dunk. Now here's Morant. Jackson dishes to Clark. A rebound by the Lakers. Woods got six rebounds here tonight. Maxi passes to Hartenstein. And a wide open look for James. Here's Wood. And another three for the Lakers. He's an asset in helping space the floor. He has tremendous touch from range. Morant with it. Nine points in the game so far. To the middle to end the run. Shot is good in the Los Angeles leads. Cut down to just one on the bucket from Jackson. Not just swinging the ball around the perimeter. Aggressive move inside. Here's Maxi. Pass to Wood. And there's another one for the Lakers. Shut out in the first quarter. He's heating up now. I like the aggressiveness. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Now here's Brooks. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Caldwell Pope kicks to James. That one, no good. The Grizzlies trail by three. They swipe it. And pushing it up, here's Los Angeles. And not the first time we've seen this. When KCP's confident, when he's in rhythm, he can fill it up with the best of them. Brooks, the pass to Morant. Now Brooks. His scoring has been there on a regular basis. He's averaging more than 14 points a game. Here's Maxi, And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Morant outside. Good and the nice assist from Winslow. Morant's got eight points here in this quarter. Shooting much better this quarter than last. You can see his confidence growing. That one's good. The Laker lead is cut down to just one on the basket from Brooks. I love his attitude. John ja Morant has the initiative to go after steals. Here's James. Oh, what a play! And this is how you fire up your teammates. LeBron with a 10 on that one. Morant reaches the corner. Six second difference between the shot and game clock. Tipped away. Here's Max. Here's Hartenstein. A beast defensively. Clark's reach and high motor is what makes him effective at blocking shots. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Lakers ahead. They're up by three. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Contavious, you've been able to produce easily and efficiently in the first half. What's enabled you to keep it going? Um, I mean, I'm just moving on the offensive end and I just find the open spot. They turn their heads a lot, so I'm just trying to get to the open spot and then knock down the shot. You know, cut to the back, so I spot up for the three. You've been on a roll so far. We'll see if you can keep it up. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. 
LeBron James had it going on in the first quarter. He had 16 points, two rebounds, and LeBron now late in his career, still playing at a very high level, obviously. Kenny, when's the last time you saw a star LeBron's age be this good? Woo! Man, I don't know. Dirk aged well, but he wasn't dominant. Uh, Jordan, obviously, he aged well, and he was actually dominant at times in Washington, but not like this. LeBron is just different. He's a different athlete. I'm so jealous right now because usually physical beasts sucks. We slow down, but not the king, not LeBron. I think he needs to rest more often, but when he dials it up, I think he's 25 again. Did you age well, Jack? No, not at all. Ernie, you look beautiful. You're aging well, Ernie. You're Ernie here. aged well. Wow. Ernie, Ernie was back. Oh my God. Wait, wait. Man, I, think I, I think I had too much. <laughs> and now with the second half about to get underway. Let's send you back courtside. See everybody with Kevin Harlan. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. What can you say, LeBron James? What an impressive effort today. Yeah, and just look at the numbers from the first half. He has been very efficient. And it's not like everything's been at the rim. There's been a number of jump shots along the way. We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Caldwell Pope and LeBron fill out the wings. Hartenstein is out there with Christian Wood. And it's Maxi in at the point. That's the Laker five. Five to shoot. Valanciunas on the double team. Here's Wood. Valanciunas grabs the board. Valanciunas has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Here's Morant. It falls through, making him six for 11 in the game. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Here's LeBron. Quickly, let's check out the league leaders in assists. Fifth on the list, LeBron James. His passing has been so terrific. You can see his unselfishness really rubbing off on the rest of the team. Free throw good, LeBron. Second free throw, no good. Memphis trailing here. Out to Brooks for the lead. It's hauled in by LeBron. Over in the corner, Caldwell Pope. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. Caldwell Pope's got 18 points in the game. Beautiful pass, LeBron. Fun to watch. Intelligent, outstanding read. A three from Morant. That's in. He's seven for 12 now in the game. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answer each other from range. Now here's LeBron, 17 points in the game. Caldwell Pope passes to Hartenstein. Shoots over Morant. Hartenstein can't get it to go. He looked just a little out of rhythm. He's still trying to establish consistency from there. Yeah, he's in such a great rhythm right now. Makes sense to get him the ball any way you can. Let him decide whether to shoot it, whether to pass it. He's your catalyst right now. Hits the three-point bomb. Hartenstein's got himself on the board with three there. You just can't afford to leave open shooters in this league. Everyone is practicing the three. And there's the pass to Morant. Jackson. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And, of course, Jaron Jackson Sr. played in the NBA for over a decade. And, yes, Jaron Jackson Jr., he talks about watching his dad, learning what it takes to be a professional in this Take league. Break. That break. prepared Jackson Jr. to make an impact early on.
and he knocks down the first one. And the Lakers making a change here. Kuzma's checked in, and the Grizzlies also with the sub. Jones is checked in. And he makes the first, but misses the second. And it's Kuzma with the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. A two-point game. And they double up James. Jacks up a three. Kuzma can't get it to go. Memphis has gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Jones, no luck. Los Angeles has gone two of three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And the bank, Kuzma goes on the attack, making sure to play into the foul. Lakers shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. And that one misses. Some changes for the Lakers. Green comes in for James. Rajon Rondo is subbed in for Maxi. Then for the Grizzlies, Hernan Gomez is checked in for Jaron Jackson. And it's Gerald Green in for John Morant. No luck that time either. Grizzlies have gone three of five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. Jones finds Hernan Gomez. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Parkenstein's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Pass to Rondo. Back to Green. Passes it to Kuzma. Caldwell Pope outside. Sinks the triple. Caldwell Pope's got the lead up to five now for the Lakers. And the three-pointer, a big part of KCP's game. About half his shots come from out there. Winslow, the pass to Hernan Gomez. Down low, here's Green, and Green slams it in. Never a bad idea to run the old pick play. Uh-uh, you're right. And if it produces a slam like that, we'll probably see more of them. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. Have to switch on that play. And guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. Winslow, the pass to Valanciunas. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. Taking a look here at some numbers for Winslow. How's the last month of basketball been for him? He's averaging about seven points a game, four rebounds, and two assists. Nothing about his numbers Shoot really two. jump out at you, but he'll come up with a timely play or two every game. He understands his role. He accepts it. He's one of those guys who doesn't need the ball to be effective. Porter's checked in for the Grizzlies. He doesn't get the second one. Los Angeles leading by four. Rondo kicks to Green. And a miss there on the triple. The Grizzlies have gone 4 of 7 to get things started here in the second half. Porter with it. Picked up by Kuzma. Outside, Jones. Pass to Hernan Gomez. Over Caldwell Pope. Offensive rebound. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. And there's Green on the assist by Rondo. And the Lakers lead by 6. Fast break execution. Danny Green knows where he's supposed to be and seals the deal. Jones, the pass to Valanciunas. Kuzma with the defensive effort. For Los Angeles, they've gone 5-9 of nine on field goal attempts since halftime. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Now John Morant says in an era of five-star recruits, he was a no-star recruit coming out of high school. And that put that big chip on his shoulder. Now he has beneath no one tattooed on his arm. He says, my dad always told me that I was trained to go. Basically, that I'm built for the moment. Guys, his time is now. Sure is, DA. Thank you. The shot's good from Kuzma. 
And now a 10-point Los Angeles lead. One of the more instinctive passers over the last decade. Rondo quickly locates the open man. Green against Porter. Over Green. Tries again. Valanciunas, good. Valanciunas has got 15 points. Hustle points count just like any others. That's a great play. Rondo passes to Green. His three-pointers off the mark. Nothing seems to be going down for him today. Winslow dishes to Porter. Back to Winslow. Takes the three. And the dunk by Valanciunas. When you have the size that Valanciunas has, there aren't many people getting in the way of your dunk. And the Lakers call time here. switch here. Horton Tucker's checked in. The Grizzlies also changing it up. Gorky Dang's checked in for Porter. Brandon Clark comes in for Hernan Gomez. And it's John Morant in for Winslow. Rondo finds Kuzma. Some solid defense from Clark. I mean, you won't see this too often. Getting denied at the rim. He's likely to remember that one. I will say this about his shooting stroke. It's pure when he's got it going. Perfect so far this quarter. Now here's Rondo. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Here's Kuzma. And Jones pulls it down. The Grizzlies trail by four. Gets Morant in the corner. And it's off from three-point range. Here's Green. The Grizzlies pull it in. And here's Valanciunas. He's got 17. Jones, the pass to Valanciunas. Three-pointer, and Jones gets it to go in on the assist from Valanciunas. Woo, he got a clean look, and he makes the defense pay for disrespecting him. Rondo against Jones. They could use a bucket. Rondo, no good. Memphis has gone two of five with the three-point shot since coming out of the break. Here's Valanciunas, scores the bucket. He's seven for 11 and continues to look good. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Here's Hartenstein. A look at his stats. He averages a bit over eight points a game. Just strong work defensively there in the low post. You gotta be tough down in the paint. He did a nice job of keeping him off the block, didn't let him get deep post position. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Let's bring up the 2K leaderboard and see which teams made the most of their opportunities on the offensive glass this month. In third, the Grizzlies. They have been aggressive underneath. I mean, they're playing with a physicality that you don't often see, and it's led to a lot of second chance points. First one falls. And some changes here for the Lakers. Wood, he's checked in for Hartenstein. James comes in for Danny Green. And Maxi subbed in for Rajon Rondo. And Memphis also making a switch. Dylan Brooks, he's checked in for Valanciunas. And so Jones nails both of them. Here's Maxi. A look at his stats. He averages a bit over eight points a game. Here's James. Land soft on the front of the rim and drops. James has got 19 points. And 
with that basket, he puts a stop to the 13-0 run there by the Grizzlies. Clark finds Morant. Now here's Jones. He's got eight. Just five to shoot. Morant with it. Picked up by Kuzma. Every team is looking for that star to lead them to great things. Morant already looks the part. He made the only free throw attempt he had earlier in the game. Two shots. Shooting two. That free throw, no good. Jackson, he's checked in for Jones. up missing both free throws. Brooks on the double team. Here's Kuzma. That shot off the mark. Some solid defense from Clark. And watching Brandon Clark play, first thing you notice, the young fella plays above the rim. He's very quick off the floor, G.A. Had a max vertical of over 40 inches at the combine. Did you hear me? Over 40 inches. And I think he was the steal of the draft. Fortunately for the Grizzlies, he failed to 21. I'm not surprised to see Kuzma throw it down. He's got the length and leaping ability to do so. Morant passes to Chang. Back to Morant. And again, it's Memphis with a three. Defensively, they've had no answer for him this period. And he continues to stay aggressive. The pass to Horton Tucker. Brooks on the double team to the inside. Horton Tucker, that's good. Horton Tucker's got six points. That's just good basketball. Can't ask for a better look. Morant with it. He's picked up by LeBron. Loads it up there for Morant. With the ability to beat his defender in a number of ways, Morant is truly a dynamic scorer. And they double up James. Here's Horton Tucker. His three-pointers off the mark. And the Grizzlies leading by four. Brooks kicks to Clark. Morant with it. Brooks outside. No good on the three. And we've reached the end of the third. Memphis out in front. They finish off the third quarter on a 20-6 run. And time to step aside quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. This is why you preach teamwork. Some of the most spectacular plays are the ones where guys are feeding off one another. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. Taking a look at the Grizzlies. Morant and Brooks, Manning the backcourt. Clark is out there with Jaron Jackson. And it's Jang in at the five. Kuzma pulls it in. Kuzma's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Some solid defense there from Jackson. Memphis leading by four. Brooks left side. Now Clark. Inside, Jang, and foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they save the layup. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots.
And free throw, good from Jang. And Jang drops them both. Lakers trail by six. Pass to Horton Tucker. James with it. And Clark over to help. Back to LeBron. Here's Horton Tucker. A three off the mark. And for Memphis, they're shooting pretty good tonight at 48%. And it's Brooks in the corner. Back to Morant. And finished off by Morant. The decision-making keeps improving. John Morant looking comfortable operating in pick and rolls. LeBron James on the wing. He's covered by Clark. Los Angeles with another miss. A good job by him on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in that department. Count the basket. Brooks has got the lead up to 10 now for Memphis. And guys, we talk all the time about making the extra pass. Clark there proving how important that concept is. Now here's James. The nine-foot shot. Some solid defense there from Jackson. Both sides attacking. That was good defense versus good offense. Good and a nice assist from Morant. Assist from Morant's got assist number five here tonight. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Here's Max. Right wing. Wood finds James. Shot clock at five. Shot to stop the run. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Shooting for Los Angeles. Christian Wood. Two shots. Free throw good, Wood. Aldwell Pope, he's checked in for the Lakers. Memphis also making some changes. Hernan Gomez comes in for Gorgie Dan. And Winslow subbed in for Clark. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. You want your bigs playing big. Rips it down in traffic. That one's good, and the Grizzly lead is cut down now to just eight on the basket from LeBron. What's so impressive, the defense is trying to make adjustments, but LeBron's making even quicker reads. Now here's Morant. Brooks with no one around. No good with the triple. So frustrating when you can't get anything to go down as you're trying to help your team Finish the job. With any chance you get, you want to put yourself in a position to succeed. And that's what he did there. Great job of reading the floor. Got to the rim and made a play. Lakers have gone two of seven from the field. And what's been a cold start to the fourth quarter for them. And here's Moran. He'll bring it up for Memphis. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. Brooks feeling it out a bit. And again, Memphis no good. Lakers trail by six. A three ball. No good from LeBron. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. Emphatic with the rejection. You've got to appreciate that kind of forceful defense. And so it's Memphis with it. Memphis leading by six. Morant passes to Jackson. Back to Morant. Kicks it to Jackson. Six to shoot. Let's it go. It's hauled in by Wood. Wood's got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. 
Maxi, no good. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. Bounces it to Jackson to stop the drought. The offensive rebound. And nothing fancy, really, about that play. That's just good, old-fashioned, hard-nosed basketball to get that. A pretty simple solution to ending this run. It would just be getting back and actually playing some defense. Now a timeout called by Memphis. And Coach can't like what he's seen, trying to get them refocused. It's so easy to get run over when you lose even a little edge. Look for them to come out much more aggressive. Checked in for Kyle Kuzma. And Memphis also making a switch. Jonas Valanciunas, who's checked in for Hernan Gomez. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldrin. Hi, guys. Well, during the break, I was able to catch what the Grizzlies coach was talking about with his team. He said to them, that's the kind of effort we need to bring every night. We're right in this thing. But it's going to take sustained effort to close it out. Now let's bring it home. Kevin, back to you. That one drops for him. Moran's got 18 points just in the second half. He's given a great lift to this offense tonight. Very, very efficient. As to Wood. And oh, what a play. He just palms the block. To the paint. Here's Valanciunas. That drops and it comes off an assist from Brooks. Brooks has got six assists now in the game. The drive by James and the dunk by James. Somebody's got to rotate over, but who wants to step in front of LeBron? And they double up Morant. Inslow wide open. He fires, and there it is for him. Alan Junis has got four points in the quarter. Man, that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Reason why, lack of focus, lack of communication, which led to second chance points. Money. There shaves a few points off the lead. And the later we get into this game, the more you're going to see him attacking the basket. Inside, Jackson misses. And what should have been a simple pass and finish ends up in a missed opportunity on that alley-oop attempt. It started off looking good, but the timing was just a little off. And sometimes that's all it takes. It's enough to where you have to respect him. Had one triple in the first half. Now has his second. Now the pass to Jackson. Memphis moving it around. Valanciunas, good. Well, you know that Valanciunas has the potential to go off, and he's doing it here. Maxi passes to Hartenstein. Puts it up from 15. And another basket for the Lakers. And so far in the second half, this has been a different kind of game than what we saw early on. <laughs> in this half, a more entertaining one. The pace is picked up. Tougher defense, better ball movement. The Lakers trail. And pushing it up, here's Los Angeles. A huge slam, the perfect end of the fast break. Point guard skills and a power forward's body. The unique versatility of LeBron James. Morant reaches to Winslow. Three-pointer, Brooks. Good, and the nice assist from Winslow. Winslow's got three assists tonight. Confident and composed on the three-point shot at a critical juncture. And that one's good, Maxi. And, and look, he's not the best athlete, but he's able to create the space he needs to operate. Morant passes to Valanciunas. Releases. And it falls over the rim and in. Locked and loaded, Winslow with the steady hand as this game heats up. Here's Maxi. And the layup's good off the glass. A tale of two halves. He's really turned it around here, scoring the ball. Outside Jackson. 
pass to Winslow. Fires the three. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. Well, you know, defensively, that's what they're trying to do to Winslow. Turn him into a jump shooter. And he made them pay. Maxie passes to Wood. James left side. And the shot goes in. LeBron's got 29. One of the league's great competitors. The second LeBron catches the ball, you can see he's looking to rise to the occasion. And it's Valanciunas finishing it off. Huge bucket there from the big Lithuanian. Valanciunas is stepping up. Here's James, and he goes big with the dunk right over Jaron Jackson. For a guy LeBron's size to shift direction like that off the bounce, unreal, man, unreal. No good for LeBron. Memphis leading. To the middle. Stolen by Caldwell Pope. LeBron outside. To take the lead. And another assist for him. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Pass to Valanciunas. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Hartenstein's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. And James gets it to go. Now it's a three-point Los Angeles lead. Your go-to guy in these situations, LeBron, has been here before plenty of time. Here's Valanciunas. Cuts off the pass. Jumps up. And slam dunk by Maxi. That gives him the double-double. 11 points and 15 assists. And what a huge sequence that could be. Wow, a play that might come to define this game. That could be a four to five point turnaround. How quickly things change. He's shown he can get it done in the big moment. JB delivering in the clutch. Oh, that's an old fashioned rim rack. Just a remarkable gem. These fans' jaws are on the ground right now. I'm out called the Grizzlies. They're trailing by five. There's 48 seconds left to play in the final quarter. present our New Balance player of the game, LeBron James. And it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. Left side. Here's Valanciunas, and the shot is long. A bucket here would give them a bit more room. True, but, but no need to rush it. Play smart. Hartenstein passes to LeBron. Let's it go from deep. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. Now a timeout called by Memphis. They're down by eight. 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one.
So it's the Grizzlies now. It's good. Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. The defense fell asleep on the inbounds play and totally forgot about the perimeter jumper. The offense burned them there. Timeout called the Lakers. They're in front by five. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter. for the Lakers. The Lakers with the ball. Leading by five. And now they decide to foul intentionally. At the line for two. 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 Gets the first, and that increases their lead to six. So he gets them both, and it's a seven-point game. And he adds to their lead with some very solid free throws. Winslow's shot is off. LeBron outside. So Los Angeles takes the win, probably a little closer than they would have liked it, but a win nonetheless. Yeah, but I really got a sense that the fans gave them that emotional boost that was needed down the stretch. This crowd, man, they were electric. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. LeBron, you have accomplished so much in this league. How have you sustained it for this long? You know, it's only a select few. There's not many who make it to this point, and, and I would never take the game for granted. That's why I try to give everything I can until I can't give no more. And, uh, I've been around some great players, great coaches, great organizations, and uh, for me to have this opportunity right here means a lot, and I'm very humble. Well, we appreciate all the work you've put in, man. Congratulations. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Steve Smith, Craig Anthony, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. So long.